Okay, so once we have our tool loaded, now we need to come down and actually do our measurement to get our tool length so that way the machine knows from home to this spot is the length that we want to measure from for our program. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our offset page, and in here we have all of our tooling offset, so we'll cursor down to tool 20. So once we get to tool 20, we now go to our jog mode and we use our tool length measurement set here. So in jog mode, we can actually go to measurement and it turns on the measure tool. So now we can come down and we can actually measure to the height. So using our jog command, we'll go ahead and bring this down and get it a little bit closer. Move to our smaller increment here. Now we'll start bringing it down. So this block is a, just a standard measurement block. It's exactly two inches. So what we do is we bring it down and we push the tool on the pad until we hit zero and zero on our dial indicators. So once we have zero and zero, we know we're exactly two inches above this. Now in our controller, we've already set for the two inch block to be accounted for. So once we're to that point, we hit right, and it now stored the length offset for tool 20. Now, if we had more tools we were going to use throughout the process, like the three-quarter, we would repeat this step. We would measure all of our tools, and then that accounts for Z being at the top corner of our part.